Alright, this is the AVIC Z140BH. This is Anthony with Carstair Warehouse, Anaheim. I'm going to show you guys how this unit works again. Here it is. So you have the iPod control, which is nice because you have artists, you have the albums, you have the song. And you can usually just click like either one and it'll show you how to go through it. So you have all your music. The sliding is really good, as you can see. So you click the song you want. And that's pretty much it. But it's very responsive. I like that. And then once it's playing, you can go click this and go back to the main menu. <clears throat> as far as sounds, you do have um, an EQ. So you can play with this. Customize your sounds. All up to 10 hertz, you know. However you know how to play with this, you can do that. Okay, and you also have um, this thing here, it slides. I guess like the albums. There's only one in here, so it doesn't show. But if there was more songs, you would see the sliding, which I'll show you if I can get one on here. No, I don't have any more in here. Carstair Warehouse. Okay. <clears throat> so also what we're going to look at is Pandora. It's pretty tight. As you can see, once we clicked it, the phone wants to go right away to it. The MVP ball. The first game ball? So there you go. It's Pandora. It's hooked up, hooked up to the phone, which we're using this iPod cable. Which is the the 51V, and this is how you select your stations when you're on Pandora. Click here. Same thing like the iPod, and then you have your stations here. So you can just click it. It'll show on the radio. You can thumbs up. You can thumbs down on it. Um, what else can we do here? You can uh, bookmark it, and now we're going to go to the AM FM. There's the AM FM. I don't have an antenna hooked up, but it's HD radio, so it's supposed to sound super, super clear. You can do your presets, hold down, it'll save the preset. Go back here. Um, you can tag if you have your iPhone. If there was a song here that I liked, I can tag it, and then it will allow you to pull it up on your iTunes once you connect your phone back to iTunes. This is the thing I was talking about, kind of like the, if you have a lot of albums in there, or next songs, it would do this too. You would click the one you want, and it takes you to that one. Now we're going to do the motorized, so you can see how that works. So it does have a tilt. That's, that's pretty much the farthest it goes. You have the SD insert, which you would think it was right here, but it's not. It's actually right here. Put your SD card in. Put it back. And you get it. Put the tilt back. Okay, and now, what else do we have here? Now, another thing I'm going to show you guys is the app radio. Like the app display so if we're on YouTube we go to YouTube you should be able to see it here on the screen this is somebody cutting hair but that's pretty much it it's pretty tight right so if you have your videos there and you want to watch them on the screen we'll do now So, here we go. Once you're in the apps, it's pretty cool. Um,
yeah, so that's that part of the, of the radio. Now, if you hit these two buttons here, you have home to go home, which will always bring up your main menu. Phone, um, somebody's phone's hooked up to here. So we're going to have contacts. You can see your contacts on here. So, yeah, that's cool. You can have dialed calls like who'd you call last. Um, we have the dial pad, which is pretty easy to use. Straightforward. Um, hit OK, you make the phone call. And it should show up on the screen. Um, what else do we have here? The phone was disconnected. Um, to use the navigation as well, you hit mode. Not mode. Home. Destination. Address. And then you put the house number just exactly how you would do it normally. Um, traffic, you got points of interest, favorites. This is a dialing car to warehouse, but uh, what else do we have? Phone destination settings. Okay, here's the settings, which you can pair your Bluetooth with. You can have your AV setting, which is audio and video. Um, there's the system settings, navigation settings, all that stuff. Let's get out of here. Now, Bluetooth audio as well. You can stream your music, and you can have the uh, the phone content. Like if you also same thing. If you're watching YouTube and you want it to go through, you can see it. And then AV mirror. I believe this AV mirror is for like if you have screens in the rear, you're gonna be able to see what's on the screen here. Aha radio, another cool feature. It's a Facebook, um, Yelp, all these things were cool because they allow you to see it on the screen. Like if you have a Facebook notification, it would show it here on the screen. If you have, if you're using the navigation and you're going to find some place, um, they'll show you on Yelp the the business. Like it'll show the reviews on the business. It'll show all that stuff that you'd get on Yelp on your screen and that's pretty much it if anybody has any other questions or want to know how what else works please leave a comment and we'll get back to you on on your questions